All right, here we are, Sunday. Mrs. Camper had one day off this week, and we're gonna go out to the goose nest and see if she's laying eggs in there or not, the platform. And we'll try and get some video clips if we can. We're gonna put a little bit more uh, straw fill in there or weeds, whatever they are, the grass. So we'll see if she's laying eggs or not. It's, uh, we can't really fish, it's cold and damp. Plus, she's got to get in and stay by the phone for work. But at least we can get, this is the first time trying out my new oars. So far, so good. They work quite well right now, and I think I'm going against the wind. So let's take a look at it. Faster. Faster. No, unless it's buried. Uh, you, you hold the weight. Hang in there. Hang in there. Nothing at all. Hang it. Nope. Nothing yet. Well, there's plenty in there. But, let's see. Alright, she's been going in there in the morning sitting there moving it around and then they fly off so I was hoping that she was laying an egg in the morning and then leaving and uh, coming back until she had them all laid but maybe she's still checking out the apartments that are available oh yeah this is my year for fishing five six pounders coming this year okay I'll let you have it this year since I had it last year and I think the year before so no I think that first year I caught the big one here. Remember that one? Well, that one didn't count because that was the first year. Oh, well. So, we're just going from year two on, right? All right. Well, maybe I'll grab some poles while you go in and do work. <laughs> yeah, why don't you do that? Four of them just landed. There was two of them already here. Hey girls. Better go hide from those zombies. They're after you. Oh look, here's another one. Miss Capper, it's Saturday. She got home just a smidge early from the hospital, so she's trying some fishing. That's her R&R &R after a long day at the hospital setting. Best of luck, baby. Ooh, smells delicious. Mrs. Capper's finally got a day off tomorrow. And we got meat on the grill. And we've got the lawnmowers, are the lawnmowers are out, and we got a deer on the farm. Can't beat that for living the dream, right there. So I got my new uh, eye match hook. If you remember, I bent one last year and I got another one but now we use that one for the tree spade fabrication so I had to get another one 
get this on the Branson so it's ready to hook up some implements. This thing's almost like a hundred bucks right here. Little shot of red and she's almost ready to go. So what's the uh, what's the update in your neck of the woods? All clear still so far, all clear. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the missus might bring it home at some point from the hospital, but if it were up to me, I'd just as soon get it and get it out of the way, Roger. Well, that's what I was thinking, but I don't know. I've I watch, been watching the internet news, and there's people our age dying from it now, so I don't know if I want it or not. But, uh, yeah, my wife, they, they shut down the state. She don't go back till April the 7th. Hey guys, Capper here, uh, March 24th. Let's do just a little bit of land management today. I stopped in, I had a doctor's appointment. While I was in town, I grabbed some fertilizer and just a little more clover. It's raining, it's gonna rain all night. So we're gonna overseed all of the clover plots with fertilizer. We're gonna try and revive them because last year's drought was, was really bad. So let's go out and spray some fertilizer. Yeah, these plots are looking like they're almost all weeds, but look, I got stuck here in the ATV. Uh, somewhere in here, I clicked it into four wheel, you know, all differential lock and everything. I could barely get out up this little incline. That's how wet it is here, but we're gonna try. I mean, it's supposed to be 76. So I got seven of them uh, fertilized. I might have missed one. But I'm done. It's actually cold. It's probably barely 40. My hands are froze. Uh, bleeding. I'm not sure what I cut. But we got the job done. I really need to overseed, but I'm not going to go back over again. But I'm hopeful that, you know, we, we still might have a chance. You know, actually a lot of this grass might just be winter wheat and tritical and stuff. So it, it may not be weed grass yet. If that's the case, some of these plots I think will rebound so stay tuned we'll definitely see it's supposed to be 76 uh, in two days from now and it's probably like 40 42 now a little steam left we got her all cleaned off nice I feel good like something got done today so fingers crossed we'll see if mother nature's gonna be any better this year than last year